Climbing and we're tripping all over again, Jesus Christ, Lee. I thought you'd be over this space. I mean, when it first happened with the car crash, oh well, save Clementine from. Yeah, that's right, you can tell that guy. He's, he's like grabbing or stuff. This guy's a pedophile, pedophile zombie. We gotta, we gotta stop him, man. Stop him. The... Oh, shoot him in the head, that works too. Yeah, she is a really good shot. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down. Stay quiet. Wow. I gotta get in. Shut up. because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was... Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, uh, uh. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. It's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You're insane. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Oh man, that wasn't a good look. Anyway, sorry viewers, I'm so quiet because there's so much talking in this game. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Yeah, I know that feeling. I took a nap once for 20 minutes, like felt like got two a hours. To donate anything before this all went down. That sucks because we're gonna need a lot of food. I mean, we got this many survivors. We need supplies. Glad this place didn't get looted. And you know, we got money don't really need money money's not really used to us because we need food can't like buy food I mean that's like high demand material right there hey there hi any word from Glenn nothing is he okay yeah I think so you're doing a good job can I uh, get you anything I'm okay maybe I'm a little hungry I'll see about that So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. Oh, that was a little awkward in my opinion, but, you know, what can I say? That's, that's like our daughter figure type thing I mean we're the closest thing she has to father and speaking of which we gotta look after her we got an energy bar she's hungry we gotta feed her man we gotta take care of her we gotta look after her. not much but here you go thank you of course 
Aw, oh, see, we took care of her. This is good. You know, I care about her. I make sure she's in well-being. And uh, we got Lily. She kind of looks like Sarah Connor from Judgment Day. How's it doing? T2. I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Oh man, she really cares about her dad. I mean, you can tell that she really cares about him. But anyways, as you can tell, we're uh, you we're kind of talking to everyone right to now. I mean, I it's know. it's important, you know. You gotta talk to everyone. Make sure that they know that you care. You know, that's Lee. We're the compassionate one. And uh, we got ice cream, down. but <laughs> it's all melted now. Let's talk to Kenny and his family. Hey Lee, maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but, yeah, they're dead. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We 
didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. I'm getting a little emotional we'll here, viewers. <laughs> Alright, let's just give Duck one of these energy bars. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Alright. Sorry, viewers. Uh, this is a really emotional game. You know, like, found out stuff about Lee through the dialogue. And that's why I don't really want to talk too much. It's very important that we I listen. Don't remember Try to get also, rest. you know, I'm looking out for I Kenny and his family, you know, I, I care there. about them. They're like our BFFs, you know, it's like, they care about us. No, we scratch I'm their back, they scratch ours. The one was eaten by the living dead cards. I feel like Lee needs one of those. I mean, he really needs one of those. Uh, even if Lee doesn't display it, I know that he's, he's Heard going through a anything? tough time. Nothing, luckily. Wanna... Step outside, have a look around. <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. We'll talk to Doug more about that later. I'm sure it'll be important. And there's not a whole lot we can do with the bulletin board. Anyways, we got Carly You're here. A pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah, can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Alright, we're gonna try to fix a radio. Let's see. <sighs> Nothing. Right, we got no power, so obviously something's wrong with it. Let's try the battery compartment. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Well, there's your you problem. Mean, there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, I mean yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Wow, Carly. I I'm shocked. You know how to use a gun really well, but when it comes to an old radio, uh, I got no clue how to use it. How do you put batteries into a radio? Oh, well, I digress. I gotta get Larry his meds because it's been a while. He's not in good shape. It's gonna be tough for Lee. I feel bad for the guy. 